Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of Better Minecraft. In the previous episode, we worked on this nether portal, and inside of this mine-inspired nether portal leads to our nether where we got started on our hunt for blaze powder. We have 6 out of 12. We could use a little bit more just in case, but 12 is usually the lucky number that we want to go for, and they should be here somewhere. Yep, right there, our, our six blaze powder. But that's not today's episode, folks. Today, we're gonna go around and we're gonna go and get ourselves some food because we are limited to say the least. So for our food sources for these farms we're gonna make, we already have some items. We got ourselves some tobano seeds, asparagus seeds, some onions, and some wheat seeds, but I wanna get more than just these four. I know there's wild peanuts, there's carrots right outside our door. I want to have a variety of stuff that we can cook, because <laughs> in this mod pack, we are able to cook things with the Farmer's Delight mod. So that means we need to go and hunt for some food, which I know there's wild peanuts somewhere in that direction or that direction. And we have a decent amount to start off with, but I think we can get more from the village, so... Already next to our starter house, we have some carrots, so we'll harvest these up. So these are wild, so they can spawn naturally in this mod pack, which is cool. Oh look, Red Bob, what do you have? Wow. Apparently nothing. Oh no. They despawned. Can I ask you a favor? Could you consider subscribing? It would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below. And consider liking the video, because liking always helps. Okay, sorry that I didn't get the video of me killing an orc. But look what I found. We found an ocean temple. We'll have to go into that. I have a feeling that's going to be a lot scarier mod than it is normally. And I've been getting pretty decent on getting random forms of food. And then what are these? sand beets okay more the merrier right <laughs> this is what we've been looking for so i'm just gonna just uh, that garbage out of my inventory and i'm gonna go search for more Ooh, on a little bit of a break what do we have here in this sucking ship it's gonna be better than our first one because our first one kind of sucked Ooh, i'll take those potatoes though and cabbage seeds those will come in ha handy. What do we have in chest number two? Buried treasure. I'll take it. We can go find that while getting these seeds. And while I was in that first chest, I also noticed there was rice and flax seeds. Man, we're getting our goal well to do. Oh, um, that's new. Um, okay. Uh, in this and ooh, that's a good chest that is a good chest indeed um that doesn't even make a full a globe wait a minute there's more is there a spawner oh if not oh that's so cool okay now i just gotta try to there we go now it's time to go look for more seeds which i'm kind of and now that we have access to the chest, let's see what's in here. More iron. And more gold, basically. Um, I'll take the heart of the sea. It's, it's, it's all right. Now that we've returned home, what I'm planning to do is to just go along the sides of the road here, leading to here. I'm going to keep this very overgrown look, for the most part, in front. But I think beyond this ma uh, moss, I think on each side we just should start putting farms all around and then have a massive wheat field as well at some point. I think all of this could be its own farm. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to need to go make myself a hoe because I still haven't done that yet in this series. I don't know how I haven't been able I have managed that. Um, how do we want to do this? Should we do... We have a lot of iron. So, let's make it out of iron. And do we have some sticks? Yes, we do. This should be pretty easy. We're going to have to come back here a lot. I can already tell you. But, for now, this gets it off the... 
I'm back. Oh, and we can't pick you up. You can just stay there. <laughs> we just need to put these away. And I also need my wood here, because we're going to need ourselves a chest to sit out there. Because this is a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got the barrier complete. And once we have in here, we have this decent area to work with. Uh, down here, I think I'll do a little walkway down with a little bit of plants heading to the water here. But I think this is going to look good. I'm not going to do too much terraforming because I kind of want... I kind of want to just stick to the lay of the land for this build, but what I do need to do is go over and just remove any unwanted grass, because this is something we don't need, and I'm going to try to make everything as level as possible, uh, so we have as much plants as possible, but I'm not going to do too much terraforming, just a little bit so it makes sense, like this. I think I'll add, no, I will not add two. I will completely get rid of this. I don't think this is necessary. Okay, now that we have this all tilled up and we have ourselves a little bit of a walkway, usually I just do like the basic walkway that everybody does and just mess with terrain. With my new walkway for this farm, I kind of wanted to do something a lot different. I wanted this kind of like, rocky pathway if you know what I mean like it's built into a rock and it, like it was here and we just shaved it to make it like a stair that's kind of what I wanted to do there I might add some other stuff uh, other types of stones just to make it a little bit more detailed but for now it's fine now it's time to plan things out we have a lot <laughs> yeah let's sit in there get ourselves a couple more of the asparagus and we're gonna start uh, doing the dang thing because we have a lot of stuff so we have some flask seeds we can put those there we'll put them into like sections so we'll have flouse there how about we put carrots over here and just set up in corners if you know what I mean unless we have like so little that we can't do corners like those but we can do flouse starting here carrots here and we can do beetroots here. Ooh, we have a CD place. That's a great, great sign to start us off. Ooh, nighttime. Let me go sleep really quick. Now that I'm back, there's another thing that's going to be prevalent as we go through this mod pack. And that is the fact that there is seasons in this mod pack. Okay, so we're going to have to add another set of water there. Because that's dried up. Well, I'm talking about this. I'll do that. There's seasons in this mod pack. And determine on what season it is. Items can or won't grow to the way you want them. In terms of the speed it takes to fully grow them. So, we could be here for quite a while growing something if it's winter. Now, how do I tell if it's winter? I don't know. I haven't <laughs> checked that part of the pack out yet. But the, ooh, let's grab you back up here. So, I know some things will be a little bit more difficult for us to grow as time moves on. So, you'll see that as this series continues. The hope is that everything grows according to plan. And that we're in more of a summer month. If not, we have quite a while till these will actually grow. So... Yeah, that could be a problem, but it's not as much yet. Uh, let's not jump on that. I'm just finding some other spots to place these. I think these could do well right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to finish placing these around, and you'll see it through time lapse. Okay, folks, we've got everything that we have in terms of seeds planted. Right now, nothing's officially grown yet, but some is starting to. But we are more filled in terms of potential food than we were before. This is great. Now, I do have a couple more things that I want to do before the episode's over relating to farms. And that is something to do with those. I want to make a couple of just decorative, but also technical, useful 
Farms, ing, oh yeah, rice doesn't work. I, I don't know how to grow rice. I tried planting in the ground. I don't think that's how it is. I'm gonna have to research just to see. If you guys know how to grow rice, let me know. But back to where I was going with this. Throw that in there. Get ourselves a bone meal. And we head over to some of our already pre-used spots. And what we'll do is just farm these a little bit. There we go. We'll do one more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. It'll grow back. And then we'll just decorate these ones we already have for the lighting purposes. How many more do we have? I don't know. Okay. Uh, one right here for now. We'll keep growing them as time goes along. That is extra lighting also. It just makes the place look a lot more pretty. But, I have some wood over here in this chest. What we'll do is create a little place. A little place to put our glowberries on. Kind of like an orchard. So, from what I remember, we can do stems or beams. Is that is it a beam? No. I need to go grab my book. Ah, here they are. Posts. That's what we want. Okay, folks, now that I got this all set up, we're going to put them underneath these beams here, or on top of the beams. We're going to bring them out, I think, at least five. I think I want to do five. Can we place them on the side like this? Yes, we can. So we're going to go out. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We'll do all of them. How about, how about that? And then blop, blop, and blop. There we go. Now... Just do a little bit of this. Extinguish. There we go. No. I'm close. I know I'm close, but I can't actually remember. I distinguish? Distinguish. Okay, I'm going to stop embarrassing myself. This was what I wanted to build. So plop, 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 plop. And then there. There. And we'll just put one more there. It'll start growing. That's what I wanted. So, this will start us off in terms of a farm. So we can go and make ourselves a little pathway going this way. And terraform this spot. And what we can do is continue this. Go into a road this way. And have ourselves like a little orchard going around here in the future. I just wanted to get this first one set up so I can test out the design of it. Uh, if you've ever seen any of J Wisps or uh, F Whips videos, they both kind of have builds like this in both their series. Some are different than others. This is the general gist of what they do. I just wanted to get the first one set up so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing in between episodes. But folks, that was episode five. We expanded our our reach. So we went from over here. We did some additions to the lighting by adding those glow berries officially now. Expanded our road over. We, and we have our food source. This is what we needed to do. And it's starting to come together. Uh, in between episodes, hopefully this fully grows and it's all fully grown so we can come back to it. And experience some of the food delights this mod pack has. And then as we come over here, we have our first a little uh, art uh, orchard for glow berries, which is going to be cool. I wonder if speed berries are here as well. I'm going to have to go find a biome for that. Uh, I think they're in the spruce biome or not spruce biome, but the biome spruce trees are in uh, same thing with sweet berries. I'd like to have those as well, but right now we don't have them. And if you guys could let me know about the rice once again, that would be great. I hope you guys enjoyed episode five. If you did enjoy, consider subscribing because we're on the Golden 1000 subscribers for the end of the year. And obviously, if you got to this point, you like my content. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below, farms, because we did some farming today, boys and gals. And everybody in the pronoun spectrum. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.